On the phone lines now from uh, TV3 Seven Days, we've got Di Henwood. Good morning, Di. Good morning, kia ora. How are you doing today, buddy? I'm doing um, very well. I've just come to the end of a um, brutal head cold, actually, which um, doesn't feel just because it's not even winter yet. I know. How weird is that? Yeah, I know, and it makes you feel quite um, quite freaky, actually. I've been um, shoving a lot of things up my nose and um, all along the medicated lines. But I'm feeling better now. That's, that's always a good thing, then. That's always good. Hey, we've got a couple of questions for you. First up, how, you do, how do you guys feel at Seven Days about being voted Best Comedy in the TV Guide Best in Box? Um, pretty privileged, to be honest, because if you, you watch Seven Days and it just looks like a few mates having a good time, and it is just a few mates having a good time, so to turn it into a job and then to um, win awards is awesome, and I must say on behalf of all the, all the crew, um, we're pretty stoked with that. Now, we had uh, Ben and Steve here on, in Greymouth and Westport just recently. Oh, and you did too, didn't you? We, we did, and they, they had nothing but nice things to say to you because they were scared that if uh, you heard the negatives, you'd fight them. Yeah, oh, well, that's the thing. Is I, um, a lot of people don't know, but I'm, I'm fully trained in mixed martial arts. Like, I mean, I'm okay at comedy, but my real um, skills shine when I'm in a um, barbed wire cage, you know, fighting a lot of people. So they've got good reason to be scared. And is, is, is that the reason why they keep making you the team captain, or...? Yeah, well, I mean, I um, I don't know how I luckily ended up as team captain, but um, <laughs> I think people trust the direction I take them in, and um, no one quite knows where I'm going, so I think I'm the perfect team captain. Now, of course, being on Seven Days, you're on TV every week. How has that um, helped you out in your um, comedy experience? Um, it's helped me out um, outside of comedy quite a lot as well because um, I don't really need ID anymore, which is really good. <laughs> That's the best thing about being on TV is if you forget your driver's license, people usually believe who you are. Although my name is different on my driver's license, so um, it freaks them out a bit. My full name is Doveth Morgan Griffiths Henwood, which um, is quite a mouthful, so I usually stick to die. But um, I must say, in terms of comedy... It has been great. I mean, I make a point of sort of touring around in New Zealand quite a bit, and um, everyone comes out, and it's such a friendly environment. Kiwis are good people. I was going to say, do we ask what insurance company you're with as well, or...? Um, yeah, I think uh, you, you, you'd probably just tell by the ad. <laughs> I was going to say, that, that would have been an interesting way of going around today. Here's, here's, your, here's how much it costs a month. How about I voice your ads, me? Eh? Yeah. How about that? <laughs> Insuring New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we've got a couple of questions here from uh, some of the listeners, if that's all right with you, buddy. That is all good by me. All righty, here we go. Um, who is your number one comedian uh, great besides yourself? For example, like Ricky Gervais, Jimmy Carr, that kind of thing. I I tell you, it, it goes a few ways. Back in the day when I started comedy, mm -hmm. it would have been Eddie Murphy and Robin Williams when they were at their height. I mean, Eddie Murphy um, with Delirious and Raw are two of the most epic stand-up videos of all time. Modern day, I'd have to say Zach Galifianakis, who is um, the guy with the beard and the baby and the hangover. Mm -hmm. And he is an amazing live comedian. And of course, Will Ferrell. Did you see him on Saturday Night Live where he shaved off his beard? Yes. Uh, he looks drastically different, eh? You, you could tell it was real too because he had like sunburn up until the beard and then after that it was a lighter pale of white. Yeah, that's the mm. downside of growing a beard is even if you shave it, shave it off it looks like you've got a sort of reverse beard. <laughs> Why do you think I'm keeping mine, buddy? Why do you think that is the case? Oh, you're a beard man too. I've got I've got a little beard, a little beard going. Not Ben Hurley styles, but it's it's you know a little it's there. It's enough just you, to annoy you people. Know, I've known Ben Hurley for a very very long time, and I've never ever seen him without a beard. I went to the radio school with him in 2002, and he had the beard back then as well. Did he even at radio school? Even way then? back at the radio school, he had the beard. Oh, God, I want to see some kid photos of him. He must be, <laughs> he, well, mind you, I was a five-year-old with a beard, too, so I can't talk. Well, this is true. I've got a question here from uh, Talia for you. Why don't you do P-Funk Chainsaw anymore? That's a, that's a um, lovely question. I kicked off, for people who don't know who P-Funk Chainsaw is, back in the day, I kicked off my career and won the Billy T Award in 2002 with a character called P-Funk Chainsaw, who was a professional wrestler, basically an eight-foot um, black American man in a tiny white man's body. I do it occasionally, mm. but you really need the right occasion. I actually um, did a professional wrestling event as P-Funk Chainsaw, um, recent, um, or about a year ago actually now, and um, that was the last thing I've done it. But you never know when P-Funk is going to appear, so Talia, keep your eyes peeled.
She she wants to know if you can remember what your uh, message was for people that did drink driving. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, ju- I'm just quickly vetting it to see whether <laughs> <laughs> it can be. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll edit this part out so you can answer it straight away if you want. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no. If you drink, I'll drive my foot up your ass. That's the one. Well done. <laughs> so, uh, Di Henwood from Seven Days voted Best Comedy in the TV Guide Best on the Box. Thanks very much for your time, Di, and it's it's an honour watching the TV show. It's really cool, and it's great to have a chat with you. Oh, it's a pleasure to, talking to you. Thanks very much.